Hi, in this movie we will talk about data preparation for scorecard development. To build a scorecard, a set of historical data is needed. Let's load it. It should have a variable that we will predict. We call it a target variable. It should contain exactly two classes, usually classes of good and bad borrowers or classes of high and low risk levels, as we see on the screen. Our main purpose is to study influence of other variables on the target variable and to find consistent patterns that will help us predict the target variable. We need to prepare a data set for further work. However, experience has proved that the data may not be flawless. This problem needs to be fixed before we start modeling. Plug and Score Modeler has some built-in features to handle scarce data. We call rows with any flaws anomalies. The following frequent anomalies may be singled out. Missing values may be the most frequent flaw. Errors in value type. Text input for numerical variables or numerical input for text categorical variables. Outliers. Outliers are numerical entries that are too high or too low relative to a mean value of a specific variable. We will consider data rows with values that vary from the mean value for more than 3.5 standard deviations. This outlier data may indicate either possible errors made when filling out an application form or small segments of clients whose risks cannot be predicted using a basic scorecard built for remaining data. In that way, a future scorecard will be more correct if we disable the corresponding rows. The parameter 3.5 standard deviations can be manually adjusted to any value here in settings to the value of 2 in case of the most conservative approach or to the value of 5 in case when only extra outliers should be removed. Anyway, we recommend reviewing all the outliers to check if there are entry errors or special cases which will deteriorate model performance. Plug and Score Modeler provides for different ways of handling the anomalies. If different variables in one row have several missing values and a general amount of variables in rows is not too high, these rows should be disabled and excluded from a data set. The quality of the data is crucial for scorecard development. If the data is low quality and contains a large number of mistakes and flaws, the process may be more time consuming. In addition, some categories of clients may need to be excluded from the data set due to the fact that another policy of cooperation with them may be applied. For example, it concerns VIP clients. Sometimes it's useful to enable rows with missing variables and fill out appropriate fields, either with zeros for a numeric variable or with a name of the worst category for a categorical variable. Another way to include these anomaly rows is to ignore them in case of the categorical variable or to create one more category for them and name this category, for example, undefined. We will consider more issues about scorecard development process in our next videos. If you have any questions, Please contact us at contacts at pluginscore.com or on pluginscore.com or by the phone on your screen. Thank you for your attention.